channel it is Nikos baby you already know me and if you don't know me thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe and like 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 and tell a friend and a brother and a sister and your uncles and your aunties and your grandfathers and baby sisters and the uncles and all that good stuff but no um yeah welcome um I it has been a while since I have done a makeup tutorial but I've been waiting on my backdrops and this one is so beautiful I really love it and I'm obsessed now so Look forward to seeing more backdrops. And yeah, today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this look. And I hope you enjoy. So let's get to it. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm just going to be starting off by priming my face with Milk of Magnesia. Okay, so I was really against this at first. And I thought it was kind of ghetto. But when I tried it, I was like, oh my god, this actually works really well for me and one of my makeup artists in Atlanta used it on me and I was like oh my god this is heaven so yeah definitely a must have for me right now and I really love it and it really helps my makeup look a little bit more matted so y'all should really try it out so yeah you basically just apply it all over your face and make sure you get a generous amount on and then let it dry and you're good to go. Then I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And I really like this foundation. I got it a shade darker than me. And it's a little light, but I applied two coats and it is a perfect and it looks awesome when I highlight my face so stay tuned guys because I really changed a lot about my highlight and contour routine my mind, my mind. then I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender like the best thing ever created and blend my foundation into perfection yummers turn up one time y'all <laughs> Then I'm going to go ahead and use my orange corrector under my eyes. And as you can see, I'm not getting much sleep because these dark circles and these bags are deep. But this orange corrector always works wonders. And I'm just going to apply a little bit and dab it on and let it dry. Then I'm going to go ahead and set this with my Laura Mercier powder and this really just helps it stay and give it that set that we need. I think this is what I made a mistake with the first time I covered my dark circles is not setting the orange corrector and this has worked so much for me guys. It's very important that you set your orange corrector and your makeup will be flawless. Well, under your eyes will be flawless. I promise you. Then I'm going to take my powder brush and just dust off the excess powder. Then I'm just going to be going it over it with my MAC concealer in the color NC45. And I changed up my concealer I use. I used to use LA Girl under my eyes, but... Um, I kind of like this thicker consistency and it's really matte and I think that's what works best for my skin so I'm going to be sticking with this for a while until I find something better. So yeah, um, MAC foundation and C45. 
So I'm just going to use my beauty blender to apply the concealer under my eyes, my nose, my head, and my chin. Basically, all the spots I want highlighted. And this is not too much of a light highlight, which I like because I don't like to look a little too white. I don't know how to explain it. Well, yes, I do. I don't like to look too white. I like to look a little bronzy. So, um... You will be able to see that it is highlighted, but I think the problem is we tend to highlight a little too much. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to admit, I do be highlighting a little too much and taking it far. So I just decided to tone it down a bit. And I think this works good for me. So turn up on that one. So, yeah, let's make sure we blend all this really well with the Beauty Blender. Um, because you really just don't want to not blend. It's just something you don't want to do because once you turn that flash on or if you're in the club and somebody's taking pictures, your face is going to look blotchy and white. So the key is to just blend if you want it to look flawless and beautiful in pictures. So blend away, girls. Blend away and take your time. <laughs> Then I'm going to go ahead and contour with my dark coca shade in the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And again, this concealer is, I always tell you guys, this concealer is very affordable and it's actually one of my favorite. And it's my favorite to use for contouring and I doubt I'll be changing this anytime soon. But yeah, I'm going to be using it to contour my nose and my cheeks and my forehead and it's just going to make it appear smaller. Then I'm just going to go over it and start blending with my Juvia's palette brushes. Check them out guys. The brushes are really awesome. And I'm just going to blend in my cheeks, my forehead, and my nose a tad bit. Then I'm going to go over it again with my Beauty Blender and I am going to blend it in really, really well. And you want to make sure your nose is blending really well too. You don't want it to, you want it to look smooth but still, uh, you know, noticeable contour. So blend, 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 blend. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face and this time I'm going to be using banana powder and yes, I use the Laura Mercier to set my orange corrector but then I use banana powder to set my highlights because it just has more of a yellow tint to it. It's closer to my skin color and I actually like it a little better. So yeah, I just go ahead and take my beauty blender and press it on in gently, not too hard. And yeah, works like magic. So I'm basically just going to be setting everywhere that I want to be highlighted or defined. Um, I'm going to be setting my nose, my forehead, everywhere that I've already highlighted. And I'm also going to set under my cheeks. And this is going to make my contour more sharper and more defined, which I love. So now I'm going to start with my eyebrows. If you guys have watched my previous makeup tutorials, I usually start with my eyebrows, but lately I've been doing my eyebrows after I bake my face. So I like it better and yeah, turn up on that because I feel like my eyebrows have been coming out better. And yes, I'm going to have an updated eyebrow routine soon. But today I was using a Maybelline. It's actually an eyeliner in dark brown. And I really love this. It reminds me so much of the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I actually use both.
Then I'm just gonna go over my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz pencil in dark brown. And I love this because it makes it look so natural and I just really apply it lightly. Then I'm gonna be using my MAC concealer again to highlight under my brows and this is in the color NC45 and I really love this because against the, again the consistency is thick and it really defines my brows so yeah turn up for that too. Then I'm going to prime my eyelids before I do my eyeshadow and I'm going to prime them with Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion, the original kind. Then I'm going to be using my Tarte palette and I'm going to be using the color Leader and I'm just going to apply it all over my lids as the base. Then I'm going to be using my favorite Urban Decay palette, the Electric palette, and I'm going to be using a bold green color, and this color is Freak, Freakily, Kanisha, Tanisha, Nico. No, just playing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to apply it all over my lids. Then I'm just going to be taking my Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color Medium Dark by MAC. And I'm just going to be using it to dust off my banana powder. Then I'm going to be using my favorite mascara by Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I'm just going to be putting it on before I apply my lashes. And it really just helps it makes it easier to apply the lashes and makes it stick together even more. Then I'm going to be using my absolute favorite eyeliner by L'Oreal in the color Blackest Black. And guys, this is life itself. It's so pigmented. It lays so nicely and it comes with a brush that's perfect for it. And honestly, this is the best eyeliner ever. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my blush and this is a MAC powder blush and it is called sketch and I love this because it just looks so good with my burgundy hair then I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face with some finishing spray by Urban Decay I love this spray I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my eyeliner and just do an under eyeliner. And then I'm gonna use my Too Faced mascara again and do my bottom mascara. I love, love, love bottom mascara. Got to have it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with just a normal brown lip liner that I got from the beauty supply store. And I just love how lip liner looks on me. I love it. Then I'm going to be applying my lipstick by MAC called Snob. Then I'm just going to be going over it with my NYX lip gloss. Okie dokie guys, that is it for my makeup tutorial on this look. I don't know what to call it but I think it's pretty cute <laughs> and it's different and I promised you guys I would try eyeshadows so I'm really trying y'all so don't be in my comments saying no mean stuff because I'm a comment back I read every comment but no um I do I would like for you guys to critique me honestly but don't be mean you know I'm sensitive about my stuff but no yeah thank you so much for watching me I love you guys please remember to subscribe and like 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 and comment um what else yeah just look forward to seeing more amazing things and more features and more Nikos. Turn up.